Hi there, I'm Sam from ZREO Second Quest, and today I'm here with product specialist Ben from Vienna Symphonic Library. Hi, Ben. Hi, Sam. So you told me there's now a new feature in Mirror Pro 3D that improves workflow quite a bit, especially when switching between multiple venues. Yes, that's right. We now have included a new role preset system with Mirror Pro 3D. It's super easy to use, and it will save you a lot of time once you have integrated this into your workflow. So this is the perfect tool if you want to reuse Mir configurations. So uh, this also replaces the Mir X mode from the previous version. So I've been working on an album for a while in the old Mir Pro and I just opened it and it converted into a Mir Pro 3D project. The whole project is made of real recordings of live players. I have some guitars, mandolins, whistles, drums. Originally I used the small live room, but I'd love to try moving them to other spaces to hear how they all sound. How can I set this up with the new role system? Yeah, let's start by opening the new role preset manager by clicking the symbol with the two masks on the top left next to the gear icon. Now on the left sidebar you have access to the presets. There are already a lot of factory presets in there, but as you can see there are no user presets listed. We will change that in a moment. Below that is a text area where you can add notes that will be saved in your preset. Let's have a quick look at the area at the bottom right, apply role features. This one allows you to select what parameters should be overwritten when applying a preset. Regardless of the selection here, all settings will be stored when saving a preset. Above that there are entries for the venue as well as for each instrument sitting in the current venue. So how should we approach this now? So let's convert your current settings to a venue preset. Double click the venue text area on top, enter the name for your preset and confirm with enter. Choose a matching preset name so you can find it later. Go on and select a name for each sound source. Okay. My recommendation is to select a name based on the sound source type and its role in this preset. So for sample libraries I would use the manufacturer name, the instrument name and the role in the preset. For example VSL Bassoon Left Solo. Make sure the names are unique so you don't overwrite existing roles. So Ben I have two different audio tracks here that both have the same name and they should have the same position. If I call them the same thing what happens here In this case you will overwrite your existing role. So you can see now a save icon on top and it appears because the setting in the slot now differs from the role preset. If you want to assign the same role to another instrument, just click on the drop down symbol at the end of the row and select the preset from the list. On top of the drop down there is also a search box that you can use. If you now unfold the venue preset on the left, you can see all the roles in this venue. We could also structure everything with folders in there, but because we don't have that many roles, let's just skip this for now. Okay, that's your first venue preset, and all the settings of the venue and the roles are saved. Now you can recall these whenever you like. And so that's it? Yes, that's it. Okay, great, so how can I move this to a different venue now? For that open the venue selection window on the bottom of the app. Now select the venue you want to use and load it. So for now let's close the preset window so it's not in the way. You can now change all the settings to get the best result in this venue and really customize everything. Position, mic settings, reverb length and everything else can be changed and customized. Okay. Now reopen the role preset manager and double click into the venue text area, enter a new name for this preset and confirm. As you can see the roles are not saved yet. 
To save them all at once, hold the ALT key on your keyboard and click on one of the save icons. Instruments that share the same role must be reselected from the menu. So now we have a second venue preset with the same roles in it. Now I see that there is a tab system up here. Is there a way I can move certain instruments to a different room? Yes, this is now possible. Click on the plus sign to add a new tab and as usual select a new venue. Okay. Let's try this one. If you want to move an instrument to another venue, just drag and drop it in the instrument list on the left side. So now you have moved it from one venue to the other and you can move it back at any time. We don't have a preset for this venue right now, so we should change that real quick. Again, it's the same procedure as last time. Okay. Now that both venues have presets with the same roles, the instruments will automatically find their position when moving them between these venues. Yeah, let's put it way back here. And then save it over. Okay. Look at that. No, wait. Let's move it back. That's great. Is there an easy way for me to send this entire venue preset to another colleague that might be using Mir Pro 3D and has a similar setup and wants to work with the same settings as me? Yes, for that open the Windows Explorer or the Finder on Mac and drag and drop the venue preset to the folder. And to import the preset, just drag and drop the file back into the preset list. It can't get easier. So because you had this one already in the list, you have now a copy of this preset. Uh, by the way, this is a great way to create backups, especially before working on larger changes on your venue preset. If you want to keep the copy, you should rename it. If not, you can delete it by clicking the delete button when hovering over the preset item. Wow, Ben, that, that's really great. Um, this is really gonna help when I have much bigger projects with lots more instruments, trying to audition them between one room, another room, and being able to save all of that information so I don't have to do it manually every time. It's just gonna be a great time save. Sam, I'm really happy to hear that. And don't forget, Mir Pro 3D also includes other features to optimize workflow as well as sound. Many thanks for taking the time discovering this feature with me. I hope you will have a great time when using Mir Pro 3D. Have a nice day.